Hey guys, Neo is here. Now for this morning's video, that's right, it's another transfer video talking about potential players that I believe Arsenal have a legitimate chance of actually getting. And a rumour that just popped up probably about 45 minutes to an hour ago now um, here this morning in London was about someone I'd never even really heard of. But when I kind of did some of the backstory about him, how much he was potentially cost, what the article was really talking about, I thought this was pretty decent. Now the player's name is Manar Solomon. Now I know what you're thinking, who the hell is Manar Solomon? Now that's exactly what I was thinking. Who is this guy? Never heard of him. Where is he from? Is he from some strange league? Well he is from the Ukrainian league, but he does play for a team that we all know and we've all seen regularly in the Champions League and even in the Europa League every now and again. He plays for Shakhtar Donetsk, uh, 21 years old, right winger. Um, I myself have never seen him play. Um, I don't believe I've heard of really anything from him before, which tells me that he was either really young or he just wasn't really pulling up any trees and probably wasn't even that good. What it tends to be the former, which is that he's super young. Um, well, not super young, but 21 years old, uh, meaning that, you know, he's just really getting started. Uh, and when I looked at some of the numbers, like this past season, plays for the, in the Ukrainian league, obviously, uh, played 23 matches, nine goals, one assist, uh, two in the Champions League uh, he scored, which i uh, got to say, that's what, 11 goals across all competitions, so 11 goals and one assist, uh, is okay. But in yesterday's video, I talked about how uh, Buendia, he's a goal-scoring winger. And now we're linked with another goal-scoring winger rather than creator in Manar Solomon. And I think probably the, the biggest difference between the two is really to do with the price. Now, I mean, I had some comments on my last video talking about where people saying, you know, basically being inclining that you're not going to get Buendia for under 40 mil. And I mean, I, I never said that, but the article said that there's going to be three in front of the number. And it's probably going to be at least 30 mil that Buendia will go for. That's probably the lowest that they're going to look for, but that's probably the highest that Arsenal, well, I see Arsenal play, paying based on our financial situation. But Manar Solomon, on the other hand, is said to be rumoured to uh, uh, be about £21 uh, million, pounds, which I think is pretty fair. Uh, I could definitely think Arsenal could be able to get that down, though. Maybe to something like 18 mil, I think would be a lot more fairer. Uh, just looking at some of the videos uh, on YouTube, because that's what I do. I, I know nothing about him, but um, I mean, like everybody... Looking at what he's done, um, based on some of his kind of highlight reel, he looks like he's two-footed player, uh, def similar to Saka, predominantly right foot, takes more shots on his right foot than his left, but it looks like, if forced to, he can do virtually everything on his right foot, on his left. Very much a flair, flair player. Very much a flair player. I like his style. He's going to be very entertaining for Arsenal if he was to come. Reminds me a lot of uh, uh, Alan Sir Maximan uh, at Newcastle with the way how he moves. He was causing teams all type of problems. He's not that tall though, meaning that the physicality of the Premier League will probably get to him. I think maybe you might need two players to kind of isolate and surround him to kind of stop his attack and threat. Whilst I've seen players like Sir Maximan generally need minimum three players to be able to kind of contain him. But Manar Solomon looks like a pretty solid bet, especially when you factor in our budget and what we potentially need. Um, I did a um, video a few days ago um, with 101 Arsenal talking about how Arsenal lack goals. And you could see from the Premier League table and from this past season and the season before, Arsenal's problem is goals. You know, we are just not scoring enough goals. In this season, we scored 56. Last season, we scored 55. It's not enough. And, you know, the excuse is always, well, Aubameyang wasn't scoring. But let's be really honest. On the balance of play every single year, it's going to be it's going to be something that it's going to affect goals. You know, we got the African Cup of Nations coming up uh, next season, meaning that a lot the players like Aubameyang and Thomas Partey aren't going to be there. Is that going to be our excuse next season? 
because we know it's coming. We know it's coming. So players like Manar Solomon could be helped to kind of alleviate that, especially if he hits the ground running. We do have to kind of temper our expectations. I mean, come on, he's coming from the Ukrainian league. And yes, he is playing from Shakhtar, which is good because you could tell that obviously um, a quality side like, like Shakhtar can see his value. And he has scored it in the Champions League. So, you know, he can perform at those type of levels. You just have to see whether he can do it in the Premier League. And more importantly, even if we were to buy him, you know, I always drop this in. Is Mikel Arteta going to play a guy like Manar Solomon? You know, I would like to hope so because I think at least the impression that I get is Mikel Arteta is very resistant, hesitant towards giving young players uh, a lot of games. I, I feel that he doesn't want to rely on them. Um, and Manar Solom Solomon being a young player, um, half Portuguese, half Israeli, um, was very surprised to see kind of the range of skill that, that he was able to produce, but very good player uh, overall. I mean, and I guess I shouldn't be surprised. A lot, a lot of Brazilians tend to go to Shakhtar. And obviously, I, I assume Manar Sol Solomon speaks Portuguese, being uh, half Portuguese. Uh, and it probably just fits in well uh, with how things are. And it said that Edu is very interested in the player. Uh, so hopefully he will still be around to be able to kind of get that deal over the line. But I urge everyone, check out Manar Solomon uh, overall um, on what, what your thoughts are. It seems like a pretty decent shout. Um, I don't think he's probably the best. But when you think of where Arsenal are in our current situation, you have to say that maybe this is the route forward. You go for someone that looks reasonably well and then maybe with some good coaching you can help players to become even better because if you someone like Manar Solomon he, let's say he scored 11 goals across all competitions for Shakhtar it's only 23 games that he's played so you could tell he's probably been for the most part a bit part player um, maybe sometimes start and sometimes coming up off the bench uh, overall if you could help him go from 11 goals to maybe go to 16 goals and maybe six assists, you know, that's where you start looking where he could actually make a difference in this Arsenal side. So I hope it happens financially. I think it'd be great for Arsenal. Uh, and yeah, I, I think this looks like a good shot. But again, it's up to you guys as Arsenal fans. Like, what do you guys think of him? Do check him out. Manar Solomon, M-A-N-O-R Solomon. Uh, do check him out. There are quite a few videos about him and it's... Uh, there's a lot of videos of him being linked with Arsenal from months ago. Uh, so he completely missed um, my radar uh, there. But I am uh, quite intrigued by um, Manar Solomon. And at least um, media outlets like Court Offside are, are talking about it. And I'm sure later on on Twitter people will also be talking about it as well. But leave your comments below your thoughts on that. Please do remember to comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Peace.